So, today I'm going to show you how to get this nice figurine look. This is one of my pieces. You can see it has a nice kind of subtlety to it where the glaze kind of melts and looks so just very soft. I achieve this with an airbrush. So you get yourself an airbrush, a gravity fed only. Don't even bother with the cheap bottom feeders. They're just wrong. You're going to get yourself a piece of work that is this. Apply yourself a glaze coat, a nice base white or cream color coat, and get yourself a respirator. You're going to take this, get yourself some tubes and some mason thing in water. Always remember to shake them. This is nice because you can just fill her up. That's it. It's good to go. 30 psi, and you're good. And you're just going to spray and build up color and build up color. Uh, do a couple layers in between because if you sit there and hold it on, it'll get watermarks. So it'll build up and run because it is water. Um, you want to let it evaporate. Use the darker spots because the lobster red will come up really vibrant. Other areas look like some just kind of the next orange. I recommend doing lots of different colors. I'll do, um, you want to start with light colors to dark. So I have um, my orange. I had white. Obviously, obviously, I the glaze. Then I applied the orange. Then I did red. And then I'll probably do black and some grays and stuff. So just test it out. Do lots of test tiles. Sit there and get the hand, um, the feel of using this. Um, if you like to do too close, it's just going to pfft right in the little spot and it's going to look like a disgusting mess. You know, run and you have know, drip marks and you have to sit there and figure out how to lightly touch it. Um, I recommend doing, um, making works that have a nice base on them or a foot or something that you can grab and put it into your kiln because once you touch this, it's no longer has, it's not really adhered well to the piece, it's just dust. Um, so you want to grab something because if you touch this, your finger marks are going to get in there and it's going to look disgusting. So. Um, yeah, figure it out. Get a whole bunch of these. I recommend it. I have one for each of my colors. I just sit there and blow her up. Respirator mask, air compressor, um, air compressor airbrush, and make them all to work. You're good to go.